Hello everybody, today I have this 2013 Freilander Cascadia So today I'm going to be showing you how to replace this small window over here As you can see it is all broken um, Something happened to it So I have the glass right here This is not a very expensive glass, this is a OEM glass from Freilander As you can see um, It costs around 30 bucks It's not really expensive uh, the problem is to replace this um, window over here you cannot just insert the uh, glass over here because there is not enough room to insert the glass so uh, what you have to do is to remove the entire panel with the window mechanism to replace this window so today I'm going to show you how to do that so I'm going to start by removing this little panel with a small screwdriver now I'm going to remove these 40 30 bolts to remove this handle. After that, I'm going to remove these 30 30 bolts over here, then hold the bottom area of the panel. So, and after removing these bolts, I'm going to remove these two plastic rivets over here. There is two, one in each side. I'm gonna be using this door panel plastic rivet removal. I'm gonna insert this underneath and then I'm gonna pull it out. And the last thing to do after removing all the stuff from this door panel is to pull this panel out like this. See now it's open. And we're going to disconnect that plug over there. You see that plug over there? We wanna disconnect that plug. It's the one that connects to the light over here. To the light on this side. There is a small light over here. So make sure to disconnect that before removing the panel completely. And now I'm gonna grab the panel from underneath and I'm gonna get it up like this so I can remove it from the switches and from the lock over here and then I'm gonna put it on the floor. Okay, now the panel is completely removed as you can see. So from this point we're gonna start removing this panel. Uh, so the panel uh, you have to remove it with the window so you have to uh, come out with the entire window. So before disconnecting everything, you have to roll down the window like this and leave it open. Um, because now we're gonna disconnect the switches. And if you do uh, disconnect the switches before rolling down the window, it will be, it will be hard because you won't have everything moving around. So um, anyway, uh, now we're gonna disconnect the switches. We're gonna remove this little panel from here. Just remove it from here completely. And I'm gonna disconnect all these plugs. With the switch panel out of the way, I'm going to remove that clip that holds this cable over here. You see there is a little clip over there. That one over there, it's really hard to see it. Using the same door panel uh, rivet removal, I'm going to uh, remove this one and I'm going to try to disconnect the speaker plug over there. Um, if you want, you can remove this panel over here, this little panel over here and remove the entire speaker, it will be easier. To use a T20 to remove all these bolts that hold the speaker on place. With the speaker out of the way, we can see this internal stuff here, so this is the uh, plastic rivet then we need to remove so we're gonna remove this one over here this one over here this one over here there is another one over here um, and there are other ones over here we're going to disconnect this uh, the uh, window motor uh, to remove all the cable that goes around the panel before removing the entire uh, door out Okay, all the plastic rivets and holes the cables are removed. Remember to remove this one too. This one is the one that goes to the power mirror. Um, so the next step is to remove these T30 bolts over here. They hold the, uh, the door uh, latch, the door lock over here. So we're gonna remove these three T30 bolts. Now I'm going to remove these two bolts over here using a 10 millimeter socket or grinch. This is a very limited space, 
so you will need to use a ratchet grange like this one or a stubby ratchet so it can fit uh, there so we're not gonna remove the two of them because they hold this bracket then goes all the way down then holds the window uh, seal okay these bolts are completely removed now I'm going to remove this door panel bolts there are three thirty I'm gonna remove these three there is another one over here another one over here another one over here so in total there are eight bolts holding the door panel uh, so uh, I want to remove them all and then the door panel with the glass will come out completely so uh, uh, first I'm gonna remove it and then I want to show you how you need to uh, move it around so you can get it out and here on the door latch when I push this one down and then when I slice it to the right to remove it completely so we can remove the entire panel and we're gonna leave the lash over here okay so the door panel is completely removed now it's easy to remove it okay. we can move it around so before removing all we have to do is to get this bar over here where we remove these bolts out of the way like this and see now this is completely out and now with both hands we wanna hold the panel from underneath and then we're gonna get it out easily and then we're gonna put it on the floor. Something that I completely forgot to tell you is then uh, you need to remove this bar that comes from the uh, door handle, from the interior door handle. This green thing is the one that holds it. And we need to remove this plug, the last plug over here by pressing this, I'm gonna remove it because uh, the door panel uh, comes is, is, is uh, with a cable in between, so we need to remove that. I forgot to tell you, so uh, be sure to remove it before removing the door panel because if you don't do it, you're gonna break the light. Okay, the door panel is over there, as you can see, it's completely removed from the door. Uh, remember to remove this cable, this cable goes across the panel is the one that goes to the um, window motor and the latch um, switch so if you want to replace this latch now is the time it's so easy to replace it right now right now you just need to remove all the clips and uh, you can install a new latch so now we're gonna install the new window over here all we have to do is to clean all this glass this broken glass from this uh, seal. The seal is clean as you can see. You can use a small screwdriver or uh, anything to get it out because sometimes it's stuck to the rubber so uh, that's all you need to do. So now we can insert the new glass. You can apply some W40 lubricant over here so it can slide easily in the rubber. And I'm going to remove this T30 to remove the entire uh, seal out. This will help to install the glass easily because it's a very limited space to install this glass in this area. Okay, the window is in place as you can see. Everything is in some place, everything is secure. Uh, to have an easier time installing the window, uh, you have to remove the seal, this corner of the seal completely and then insert the window and then uh, make the seal this part of the seal way uh, back on the door and that's all you gotta do that's uh, for uh, easier installation um, but everybody has different ways to do it uh, remember to install this ball over here very important to install this one over here and now it's time to install the panel back so to install the panel back, you gotta install the panel the way, the same way I remove it, the same way you remove it, the same way you wanna put it back. Um, I'm going to make a different video how to replace this window, the rollout window, because this the same truck has uh, uh, the window broken on the other side. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that in a different video. So now it's time to put everything back together. Just follow the same uh, steps than uh, you did to remove it. 
and uh, you will be able to put it back. There is nothing uh, special procedure to put it back. It's the same way you're gonna uh, you remove it. The same way you're gonna put it back. Uh, the only difference will be right now because this window is on place right now. It is no longer broken, so it is hard. This thing is uh, is uh, very hard to move. So all you gotta do is to insert the window here and then uh, try to make its way like in this uh, way like this and then put it straight that's all you gotta do that's a whole that's a whole difference so I wanna put everything back together uh, and just align everything the proper way it's supposed to go and that's all you gotta do the panel is back on place as you can see everything is in the proper position it's supposed to be uh, now I'm going to test all the switches like the window going up and down you can see and the power lock in this case this one has a power lock so I'm gonna test that yeah it's working and the mirror the power mirror so now knowing that everything is uh, working properly I'm just gonna double check the cables in here I'm gonna double check the area to see that everything is properly installed the rail over here make sure that you install this bolt because these are very important bolts otherwise the window will come out completely the large bolts remember to install them they're very important too so um, everything looks on place so now I'm gonna install the other panel that goes in this area okay the other panel is fully installed as you can see everything looks on place this light is working uh, all we need to do is to close the door see this opens and um, that's it uh, the job is done uh, so this is all I'm going to be showing you um, I'm going to be replacing the other uh, window over there that will be the actual window that goes up and down on that side because it's broken I'm gonna do a different video so you can check the uh, video description below how to replace that um, if you have any questions about this video uh, you can comment below and I will uh, answer them as soon as I can if you have any suggestions any recommendations you can share your opinion on the comment section below as well um, if uh, you want to support my channel you can uh, check the video description below for details how to send support to my channel so I can continue making helpful videos for everybody so like share subscribe and thank you for watching